another episode on my Money Monday series. As you guys can see by the title, this is going to be the long-awaited How I Started My Business video. Many people have been wa waiting for this video, so I'm very happy that I'm able to finally share it with you guys. All honesty, I wish I had a video like this when I started my business because I've made so many mistakes. And honestly, I literally taught myself everything. I researched everything, taught myself everything I knew as I was going. Um, if you guys didn't know, I started my business February 2017, a couple of months ago, um, I got the idea of me starting my own business in January, um, right before, well actually I got this idea a few days before um, the new year, so like December 27, like after Christmas I decided that I wanted to start my own business just because I wanted to be an entrepreneur and I just wanted to have that towards my name. Um, I didn't really think too much into it when I started, I just went for it. And I wish I did more research and stuff like that, like you guys are doing right now, um, just by watching this video. So this video will be perfect for all of those that are start trying to start a business or, or just want to know more information on how to start a business, sharing with you guys all of the legal aspects, all of the information on how to brand yourself, how to start up a website, how to, um, how to trademark and how to register your fictitious business name as well as how to ship out your products. So stay tuned for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. While you guys are here right now, make sure you guys click the thumbs up button so I know you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what other videos you guys would like to see in the future. I am also going to be starting my back to school series. This outfit is going to be one of the outfits featured in my back to school lookbook. So if you guys are wondering where I got this outfit from, stay tuned for that video. But yeah, I'm just going to get right into the video now. Before, blunt. I'm going to be very blunt with you guys. It's going to be very hard to start a business broke. I saved up a lot of money before I started my business. And another thing is you're going to lose a lot of money before you start making money. But you have to have confidence in yourself and you have to have confidence in your business. And a lot of work, you have to put in a lot of heart into your business before you will start making money. I, it took me, honestly, it took me a little over a little over a month before I was able to start making money back with my business but it can be different for a whole bunch of different people but if you don't have a money for this if you don't have a side job make sure you guys check out my first two videos um, because it gives you different money making ideas and money ways to make money on the side um, I strongly recommend um, post marketing you can get up to hundred dollars I feel like I mentioned this in every Monday Mondays video but Postmarketing.com, you can get $100 and $50 every week afterwards. So that's steady income that you guys can be getting every week, um, which can help with your business. So getting your the stuff that you're going to be sell, sending out to start making your t-shirts, to start um, getting your getting your eyelashes and your hair vendors and stuff like that because you need to have money. You can't start a business broke. Or any of the legal aspects, I need you guys to brainstorm what you guys would like to start your business. What you guys would like to start your business on, and then you would have to think of a name that would go with your business idea. Um, if you guys didn't know, my business is lavishlifeaccessories.com. Well, it's Lavish Life Accessories, and the website is lavishlifeaccessories.com. I basically sell sunglasses and stuff like that. Well, right now I'm only selling. Right now I'm only selling sunglasses, but I decided to go for the name Lavish Life Accessories because my YouTube name is Lavish Ruby, and I'm planning to sell more than sunglasses in the future. So I decided to leave the name. Um, like more open to more ideas that I would have in the future. So my name is Lavish Life Accessory. There are so many different business ideas for you guys to start a business on, such as like t-shirts, accessories like I do, eyelashes, hair, um, hats, dad hats, you can start your own clothing line. There are so many different opportunities for you guys to start your own business with. After you guys have decided your business idea, then you would have to think of a name. Um, thinking the name is probably going to be one of the hardest parts because this is something that you're going to have to put a lot of money into in the future um, regarding the stuff that I'm going to talk about later on. But um, think of your business idea name, um, write it out, see how it looks in writing, see how, um, ask your family members, your friends about it, ask to see if other people would like it, if it's something catchy so that people can like remember. My big example with Lavish Life Accessories, I feel like it's a, such a long name. I should have done Lavish Accessories or something smaller along those lines because a lot of people just call it Lavish Accessories or some people just call it Lavish Ruby Accessories, but the name is Lavish Life Accessories. Um, so make sure it's something catchy and it's something that a lot of people will remember. After you finish thinking about a name for your business, make sure you guys go on the your county registrar's office um, website. 
to see if the um, name is available because if the name isn't available, you won't be able to buy that name or trademark that name. So make sure you guys do all of that before going to the county registers because next you would have to actually go to the county registers office with all of your written information in order to register the name. But doing this is basically going to protect your name so that nobody else can take it. You will basically have all rights to the name. So I really recommend you guys do this so that nobody else can take your name in the future after you start making money and after you got your name out there. You don't want to have an, a situation where you're sued because somebody else has that exact business name. This part is also very important because you need this in order to open up a business bank account. After you finish registering your business fictitious name, you would have 30 days in order to get your business name in writing or get it published in a newspaper, your local newspaper, your state news newspaper, um, anything like that. It just has to get published in order for everything to be completed. Um, and you also need this in order to open up your bank. You can go to your bank account open up your business bank account so that you can separate your business income from your personal income if you have like a separate job or anything like that where you're getting money from you want to separate all of your business income so you know exactly um this is how much money i have in my business account you don't want to you don't want to put everything together so you don't know you're spending your business money for, for personal things and stuff like that because that's a big no you want to separate your business income from your personal income with so that you're not spending your business money on personal stuff. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory and you should know why you shouldn't be doing that because your business is for your business, not for personal. Unless having your business is for your personal means, but I really recommend opening a, a separate business account. Once you are finished making your fictitious business name, then you'll have to go about making a logo. I use, I made my logo through pickmonkey.com and that's what I use for my channel banners, my YouTube logo, everything basically. Um, my thumbnails for YouTube, I use pickmonkey.com, but you can also use Photoshop, you can use Canva, you can even buy a logo from fiverr.com. I mentioned this on my side hustles video, but Graphic designers sell their work on Fiverr.com, so you can basically go through Fiverr.com in order to book a graphic designer to make your logo for you, and they do it for pretty cheap, like 5 to $10, maybe 15 if it's something like really out there. Alright, so when creating a logo, make sure you guys include the, include the trademark symbol for unregistered businesses, that's the TM sign. You can't put the R sign unless it's registered, and if you put the R sign for an unregistered trademark, I mean for an unregistered business, you can get um, sued actually. Um, and you can get in a lot of trouble. So I really recommend you don't do that, but include the TM sign so that people can steal your logo. So once you're done with that, you're basically done with all the legal information. Um, and now you can go on to branding. Branding is probably the hardest part, and it's a lot of, it's an issue that a lot of people have when they start their business. You can't sell without any buyers, you know? So... I'm lucky because I have a platform on YouTube, I have a platform on Instagram, I have a lot of friends, and I live on a college campus, so a lot of people are able to buy from me. Um, one thing I want to stress is that solid brands are made through solid people. If, if you're not respected, if people don't trust you or respect you, no one's going to give you their money or time. So make sure that you're a solid person. That's I would say this by just being a good person in general. I know I would not give my money to somebody that I know is not doing the right thing, you know? One of the best things I have for this is by advertising. And advertising advertising may cost a small fee. The tip I have for you guys is to start off small. You don't want to buy, if you're selling eyelashes, you don't want to buy 500 boxes of eyelashes to start off your business because you don't know if they're going to sell. You want to start off small, have different types of eyelashes so people can choose, and make note of the ones that are the most popular so that you can make that, um, you can buy those, you can get more of those for your next restock, you know what I mean? So say you have the Ruby Lash and you have the Ella Lash. I don't know why those two names came up. If the Ruby Lash, 10 people bought the um, Ruby Lash and only three people bought the Ella Lash, of course you're going to get um, three times more of your Ruby Lash or how many more, just more in general of your Ruby Lash than the Ella Lash the next time you buy. And if nobody's buying the Tommy Lash, you don't want to, buy more of those until the ones that you have are already sold. You know what I mean? 
um, those are just basic tips for you guys. Um, another tip I have for you guys is for shipment. I use USPS to ship my um, stuff out. I use I like USPS because they give you free boxes. You don't have to worry about boxes, but it's a little bit more pricier for shipping stuff out. So it kind of annoys me when people complain about shipping prices because you do have to pay to ship stuff out. I pay $7.15 for every box. Let me, let me show you guys. So these are the boxes that I use to ship stuff out um this box in particular this box in particular is 715 you basically make it yourself like this um the box itself is free but you have to pay seven dollars and fifteen cents every time you ship and um ship it out but i like this because it ships out in one to three days so you don't have to really worry about delivery time during like finals time period and stuff like that i would ship out my sunglasses um, like every other day, but it will still get to the person on time because it comes in one to three days. I mean, it delivers in one to three days. So this is how the 715 box looks. So if it's a smaller box than this, it's a little bit cheaper. If it's a higher box than this, I mean a bigger box than this, it's a little bit more expensive. So that kind of gives you guys an idea of how much it would cost to ship stuff out for you. I put my business cards in. I put my business cards in my box. I got my business cards from Staples. Um, I know Vistaprint, um, Vistaprint is another place that people get business cards for a good price. Um, I just chose Staples because I needed my business cards very fast, so I was able to order it online and pick it up from Staples the next day. Um, if you guys haven't watched my pop-up shop video, make sure you guys go check that out because that's, check that out because that's where I got my, um, that's when I got my business cards and stuff like that. Um... But I do recommend Vistaprint because I know that that's a lot cheaper. Yeah, so what else? I don't know what else I should mention for you guys. If you guys want to know more about hosting a pop-up shop, make sure you guys check out my pop-up shop video. Um, that's when I was able to get my business cards. Um, I got, like, bags and stuff. Make sure you guys check out Amazon if you guys are doing a pop-up shop because I know a lot of there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff you guys can get on Amazon. If you guys need a business plan, you guys can go on Fiverr.com to get a business plan. But I do recommend writing out your own business plan. I might do a video on that because I do have that in my bullet journal. I do a lot of, um, I'm planning on doing a lot more bullet journal videos as school comes around. I think that's basically it for how I started my business. If you guys have any questions, make sure you guys leave it in the comment section down below. Um, I'll definitely answer all of the questions that you guys have. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this was able to help you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next